Morning, Glenn Danuser with Danuser to go over our different types of auger bits and which one fits your application the best. We start with, we have three different collar sizes on our augers. What we're calling our collar size is down here, this is a piece that connects to the drive unit. Most popular is a two inch hex, which utilizes a three quarter inch bolt. We offer a 2 and 9 16 round, which utilizes a 7 8 inch bolt. And then we have a 2 inch round, which utilizes a 5 8 inch bolt. Now let's talk about the different types of cutting heads to find the right one to fit your application. These two are by far our most popular augers that we offer. This one here is our fab auger, which means it has bolt on teeth and is good for light duty digging. On a bolt on tooth auger, the outside tooth right here is called a gauge tooth because it has this hump, which acts like a gauge. When you start to wear into this and the hump wears off, that's an indicator to replace your tooth before you start to wear into the shank plate, which is what holds and secures the tooth to the auger bit. On this one, you can have dirt and hard face gauge teeth, and in the middle teeth, they're called wisdom, and you can have those dirt, hard face, or carbide. On the pilot, you can also have this one as dirt. We have hard face and carbide options as well. This auger is what we refer to as our cast auger. This is a cast steel head with drive-in teeth. This auger is great for heavy duty digging. Anything except for solid rock. So fracturable caliche, shale, limestone, hard compacted soils, asphalt, this would be your auger to choose from. This one again uses a gauge tooth on the outside position, which is very important. So when this, this gauge wears off, you do not want to wear into the cast steel head or you have to replace the whole head. The middle teeth on this auger or a little bit more of a point. This is called a chisel tooth. Okay, these teeth, they're, they're again, dirt and hard face options, dirt hard face carbide, and dirt and hard face carbide pilots. Both these augers come in standard lengths of four foot. We will produce augers with three foot, five foot, six foot, or even customized 10, 20, 30 foot. Over here, this is our rock drilling auger. This is our bullet tooth auger, and this auger is obviously set up for solid rock drilling as well as concrete drilling. You have carbide bullet teeth that spin inside the pocket. Okay. The pilot here is an API thread, which has a tapered thread to it. This auger requires a lot of downforce and it requires a lot of torque. Okay. So if you have a solid piece of rock that you need to bore a hole through, there's a simple thing called a penny test. If you strike it with a penny and it sparks, then you're more than likely going to need a large front end loader tractor, backhoe excavator, something with tremendous downforce, not a skid steer. And then you'll need a large, powerful auger drive to provide as much torque as needed. If you scratch it with this penny and it flakes or dust, this rock auger will penetrate it relatively easy with a skid steer or a smaller front end loader. This auger is our two inch rock drill. This is great for boring through solid rock or concrete if you need to put a T-post fence in. Here's our wobble auger. This is our dirtless digging solution. The wobble auger is a cone that is welded off center from the center pipe. Therefore, it wobbles. It is designed to push the ground into the sidewalls and it creates a dirtless hole in the top and the bottom, which is concrete ready, sand ready, or rock ready uh, type of uh, installation. Also, we make a four inch wobble auger that is great for post driver pilots. If you just bore your four inch hole, therefore when you go to come back to drive your post, it will follow the least path resistance and go straight down into your hole. This is our last auger. This is our tree planting auger. It is a two step design. It has a larger diameter at the top, a smaller diameter at the bottom. It comes with a fabricated bolt on tooth boring head, light duty digging. The theory here is that your bulb type shrub or tree will sit in the top a larger hole and then as the tree grows it will take its roots and burst through the bottom and go down to get into the smaller hole to get some nice nutrients and to keep your roots buried deep instead of along the surface next to the tree. Here's our different auger teeth. Here's a gauge tooth that is in the outside positions of the fab and the cast augers. They have a hump which hence the gauge. Once the gauge starts to wear out that's an indicator to replace this tooth so you don't tear up the head or the cast steel. This is the wisdom tooth. This is on the inside positions with the gauge on the light duty fab auger. This would be the inside tooth and the outside tooth for a, a cast type auger, the chisel point. 
helps to get into that hard, compact soils and the caliche, the breakable, fracturable rock. Um, these teeth here will come with hard facing carbide, or this is the dirt setup. This tooth over here, the gauge, is only available in dirt and hard facing. And this is the bullet tooth that is in our rock augers. And they, they drive in with a sleeve, and therefore they're allowed to spin in the pocket to evenly wear the carbide for excellent solid rock or solid concrete penetration. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you pound the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you have any questions about any of the augers that you saw today, please email us at sales at danuser.com.